Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to make this. It's just this cool transition. You can put whatever words you want in there, but there's this bar that comes across the screen and changes the words. You can see the C is now white, the U and the S, and it also sort of magnifies them and it changes the background. So we're gonna be looking at how to make this. So to start off, um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my preview to the draft full version because it's a bit intensive. The original projects over here, uh, but let's just start off from square one. So first, we're gonna need a solid color. So go ahead and go to your media generator, choose solid color, and we're gonna grab white. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that down. So we have, um, you know, some white background. Next, we're gonna need some text. And for the text, we're going to choose titles and text again in the media generator and we're just gonna grab the sample text. And we're gonna make this say music. Now the text right now is white, so we're gonna go ahead and change that to black. I'm gonna go to HSL and just bring this down here for the text color. And so now we have the nice word music. Now, my music had a few extra bells and whistles on it. We're going to go over to the video effects and we're going to choose a drop shadow. We're going to go for the first one and just drag it on there. And we see it now drops a shadow. Let's go over to that shadow property and bring the height down. And you just want it really close. Um, it's really up to you how close. If you go down as far as you can, if we get rid of it, you can kind of see what that does for us. And maybe we bring the blur in just a smidge. And it's just got a nice sort of, I don't know, I, I like it a little more than this, this totally flat thing. It's up to you if you want to add this or not. Next, we want to add the ability to invert a specific region of the screen. There's an effect called invert, but if you put that down, it'll invert everything. So instead, what we want is we want what's called an adjustment clip. And we're going to use this clip to create a sort of window that will apply the inversion where we want to put it through the use of a mask. So that's what this sort of funny looking clip is that you may have never seen before. So what you can do is you can right click and there are some options. You can see insert adjustment track and that's what we're going to want to do except this will do it for an entire track. We really want it only to apply over a clip. And the nice thing about using the clips is you can copy and paste them and apply them to anywhere else in your project. Um, so we'll go ahead and we will go to insert adjustment event. So now we have an event that we can apply effects to and those effects will apply to anything beneath them. So if we click on the effects, or in fact, let's just do it here because it's a bit easier. Um, we'll go to invert and we'll go ahead and grab the default. And if we apply it, it applies to the everything below it. If we were to move this away, there you go, back. So they're kind of cool. You can copy and paste them and put them all over the place different ways. Lots of neat things you can do. Let's go over to the pan tool here. And we're going to go and turn on the mask. And on the mask, we're going to create a rectangle. And we'll just do something like that. We'll, we'll start off with it along the top. Now, the very important thing you need to click to make this work is you need to click on the mask option here and apply to effects. And what this will do is it'll make it so the effects only apply in the mask region. So we're gonna click yes. And as we move this down, you can see it inverts wherever the mask is at. So the background is becoming black and the words that were white or, be, or were black were now, are now becoming white. And it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a nice effect. So what we could do now is, uh, you know what? Let's do one. We'll do one from above and below. But the other one did left to right. Let's do one from top to bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and keyframe this. And then we'll go over to the end of the event and drag it down like so. And so now if we play this, it moves through. Wowzers. That's pretty exciting. Um, we might want this to be a bit shorter. Let's move it down to like two seconds. We're going to use um, stretching uh, later to affect this. So now it plays a bit quicker. Wow. And we're going to go over, we're going to select both frames by holding shift 
This one was already selected. So it was picked and I hold shift to select them both. We're gonna right click and we're gonna change them to smooth so that the keyframes just a bit smoother. Yeah, it just sort of edges off the screen a little bit nicer there. So now we have our cool effect. There are some additional effects on this. Um, so this is just sort of step one. We now have a mask that applies effects in a region that we can pick. The next effect that I chose to go on here was one called deform. And there's a bunch of sort of odd deform options. We'll just go with squeeze left to get us started. And let's also uh, pick somewhere in the middle of the clip here so we can sort of see this. And you can see it just looks wacky as heck. So let's go ahead and bring the amount. This is important. The amount has to be low. And what this does is it will apply a sort of stretching effect when it's over the word. So as, as it begins to move, it will begin to move as well. Let's go ahead and take this back to zero. And these from here, I don't know. I just have some fun with it. We'll go for some shearing. Why not? Uh, we'll go for some vertical as well. We'll grab the left and move it. Maybe the top and move it. Maybe the bottom, shrink it. Uh, we'll make it bigger in general. Uh, we can apply a curve too. It's a bit distorted. You can see a curve is now introduced. And you know, you, you go through and you pick it. This this could be one of those things you spend some time on getting it just the way you want. I settled on these. And if you're curious about the ones I settled on, if you go over to mine. Uh, these are the settings I wound up picking. Uh, I spent a while messing with different options and I thought this one looked the best. So that's our deform. And then if you look there, I also had an effect called glint at the end. Now glint doesn't do a ton. Glint can be a little heavy handed as you can see. Uh, it's pretty crazy. So we could adjust our threshold to sort of rein this in and take the boost down so that we don't get so much. And then you could sort of have it on a little. These I, I, I don't like think super technically about some of these. I'm just looking to reduce it. So it's just like maybe a little shiny. You can see the before and after. It's up to you again if you want to add an effect like this. It only happens when it's being overlapped. Uh, so if we take a look at what we have right now, it moves through, and we definitely should probably pick different values for the deform. Maybe bring this back so it's a little closer. And maybe we bring down the curves so they're a little less intense and the shear as well. Yeah, maybe something like that. And now you might want to change the speed. I am not aware, maybe someone in the comments can enlighten me on how to get to a curve editor to control these points for the mask. And so this is what I do. I hold control while I'm at the edge of an event and just drag it over. And this will stretch the clip out in time and it slows down nice. And you can go in and keyframe it a little bit more carefully so that maybe it speeds up and slows down a little bit differently. Uh, the line curve would be really nice if someone knows how to get to one. I would really appreciate that. And then I selected two effects. Now for these, I am using the Vegas hub and you can look for stock media. And I looked for two things. I set it to audio and I looked for whoosh. And it was one of these. Um, I'll take a look here. And I also looked for stinger and I went for this light game one right here. Um, and then you go once you hit download and get them, you go and, and they're right here. You can see I accidentally downloaded it a couple times. <laughs> Uh, fireball, large pass, and then this one's light game. And I do have a few effects on these. We're going to go over to these three dots and we're going to go to track effects. And in here I have, these are, these first three are default effects. I brought the high pass all the way up. So I just grabbed this number one and just brought it really high. Uh, 1.2 K for where the line ends is going to be good. This is a pretty low end sound. If we don't have this effect, it sounds like this. Yeah, it's like a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that on. 
And that just removes that, that really, really big low end. See how much more wishy that is. Um, and then there's also a reverb on here. And these are the settings I picked. I, I didn't really mess with it too much. Pretty much did what I wanted right away. I might even go actually a little bit higher. Because uh, it's just supposed to be high end wish wash. On the light game release, I didn't do anything except chop the beginning off so that it, it timed a little bit better. So now that we have our sound picked out, I'm actually going to go ahead and bring this in a little bit to be a bit tighter. And let's see if we can't. Get this to line up a little bit more. That's about where we want it to happen. So we're actually a little bit late. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this control click and drag. And then I accidentally moved the whole thing. So let's go ahead and move that back. Something like that, you know, you, you could sit here and and time it out. Um, but that's the general effect. Now I did have some extra stuff uh, as a transition. So if you come over to the text and drag this out, and then we go over to our transitions. There is one, I think it's called like hatch, something hatch, cross hatch. This one, I picked this one. I was like, this one looks pretty cool. Drag it on here. And if it wasn't clear how I got this, at the corner of the clips, you have these little fade in and fade outs, which are essentially just transitions. And so we just grab it from the top corner, drag it out, and you can add a transition there. And it looks like this. Let's see if we can get playback to be a little bit smoother. We'll go for like half. You know, and you go in and you, you pick and choose the elements to get something that you like. Um, after some specifying and, and sitting down and really putting things where I want them, this was my final result. And I thought that looked pretty good. So that's how you make this text effect. I hope you use it and possibly this technique to make other cool effects. Really, really useful thing to be able to do. Subscribe to that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.